Greetings, space haters! We're back! And we're going early access! <laughs> Welcome back to Mirage Game Studios. We know it's been a while, but it's good to have you back on a new YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about what changes we need to make to space for sale in order to pivot into an early access title. We're gonna introduce you to our new community manager, and we're finally gonna give you guys a release window. But first, let's chat about the pivot of space for sale with our CEO and game director, Simon. Let's go get him. Ugh. Hey, Simon! Hi! How are you? It's all good, it's all good. What sort of changes do we make to the game to facilitate an early access release? Well, the main thing is going to be move towards more of a replayable thing. So you do it in, in shorter bursts and you replay several planets several times over, rather than having more like a linear experience story thing, because that's what the previous game was. Being a part of Empire and the way that worked, and now we move into more towards something where you choose which planets to land on, and then it's up to you to sort of make them better, sell plots, make aliens happy, and that's that's more the focus of, uh, of the new game. We mentioned it a little bit, but what are sort of the meta changes to the game? Now the meta progress is almost entirely about you, so your company. You start off with nothing, and then sort of scrap a little ship and nothing to use with it. And then as the game progresses, you'll unlock more things or sort of more opportunities in between each planet that you visit. You finish planets now. Before you had this idea of perpetually taking care of these set planets, now it's actually you pick a planet, go there, and after a while you're done. But the planets themselves are going to have like a different sort of gameplay vibe, right? Yeah, they you could think of them as levels. They're quite long and big though, so it's, mm. it's more than just a level. But it's, and we have the ability to tailor and design them uh, as we go. We can be more extreme now, which is cool. If you really want a challenge or a shorter time span on, on playing the game, then it set you up with a really weird planet. And that's something we didn't have options for previously. On the other hand, if you really don't want challenge, then you can just hop on a calm planet, do your thing, water the plants and be happy. I mean, that works too. So ideally, the core of the game is ready for early access and we're able to focus on content, more planets, more creatures, more tools, more clients. It is a bit scary going into early access in terms of involving a community because you never know quite what's going to land. <laughs> and making sure we get enough people interested in early on so we can get good feedback and so on. And it's, we haven't done our access before, so that's scary too, but it's, it's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be cool, I think. Oh, and we also finally have a release window. The release date is... Oh. So not only will the game be pivoting, but our community effort as well. We want you guys, the community, from now on to be a part of the development process. And to do that, we have revived our own YouTube channel. And we have also hired a new community manager, Masha! Hey everyone, you have not seen me before, but I have worked on several of Space for Sales videos in the later half of last year. As part of our pivot, we want to bring a bigger focus on community building and with the help of Masha, we're going to be able to produce more content and be more active on our social media platforms during the early access period. Yeah, I hope to create a lot more cool content. Please make sure to follow our social media channels so we can keep you posted. Alright, so last year was a turbulent year for gaming and for our studio as well. We are very much aware that we've been sort of quiet for a while and we know that you guys have been asking what happened? What happened to the game? Is the game even alive? And as you now know, it very much is. We've also seen you guys ask a lot of questions on multiple social media platforms and I want to address a few of them here. First off, there seems to be a misunderstanding whether or not the single player is like a secondary focus and I want to assure you guys that it very much isn't. We balance the game with single player in mind. Both single player and multiplayer should be sort of a similar experience in terms of balancing. A lot of people have also been asking for uh, local co-op. Currently, we do not allow local multiplayer. It hasn't been a priority for us. But if that is something that you guys really want, then let us know. And seeing that it's early access, that is also means that we aren't going to put it on consoles. We've been sort of coy about this. You guys, observant gamers that you are, picked up on like PlayStation symbols in our trailers and such. That's just because I use a PlayStation controller on PC. So we built the game with a controller in mind to make a porting process later on more reasonable. We do want to make a console version, but currently there's no plans. But it does run pretty well on a Steam Deck. All right, so you guys have been patient enough. When is the release window, Simon? This summer. And there you have it. 
It is good to be back. Please like this video and subscribe to our new YouTube channel. Let's see if we can break the 200 subscriber bar, right? Follow us on our social media platforms as well. Make your voice heard. We will read everything. If you want to see our previous dev diaries and trailers, check them out on THQ Nordic and THQ Nordic Inside channels. That's it. See you in space. I got stuff in my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. Hey, great success. <laughs>